Hello and welcome to Healthcare IT Today, where we explore the latest trends and interesting stories from the world of health IT. I'm Colin Hung, and I'm sitting down with Trey Davis, Director of Information Systems from Sun Life Health. Trey, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to sit down with you because you're doing quite a lot of stuff with eClinicalWorks, which is your uh, EHR. But before we get there, Trey, can you give our audience just a little bit of information about your organization and about your role? Definitely. We are a federally qualified health center. We have about 14 locations. We're located in Casa Grande, Arizona, which is uh, southeast of Phoenix. Uh, we have around 47,000 patients and we see around 150,000 visits a year. Uh, we have a number of different specialties which range from uh, family medicine, pediatrics, uh, OB, and um, we actually have dental with orthodontics also. Now, I understand, Trey, that you're using uh, Hilo Insights yes. to, to really uh, make a difference at your practice. Tell me more about that. Correct. So um, when I originally took over a few, uh, few years ago, uh, we went on this venture of uh, doing uh, annual wellness visits, working with Medicare, working on incentives and things of that nature. So it was important for us to figure out a method to get the information to our providers in an organized manner. Uh, I know when I uh, became a part of the program, there was a lot of paper involved. Mm. Uh, we really did not know where the paper came from or if the data on the, on the paper was correct. Um, so. Having um, Hilo Insights has allowed us to get that integration, have the data driven directly into the system, and present it to the providers in an organized manner to where they, when the patient comes in, we're able to close those care gaps and complete, fully complete that circle of care. Talk to me a little bit more about that, like the closing that care gaps thing. You mentioned to me off camera as well. Why was that so important for you to be able so to when do you, that? So when you close the care gaps, you, there's, there's star ratings involved uh, with the health plan. So they have their risk analysis and their risk scores that they have. Um, some of that goes unnoticed by, by, nor, by regular physician offices, but um, you close those care gaps and then you get the incentive payments around it. So when I originally became a part of the program, we were generating around $200,000 a year just off of, off of incentives. Um, now, in the past year to two years, uh, the, f the first year we were at $1.2 million, and now we're generating around $2.1 million. And just in incentive payments, that's not the revenue generated from the annual wellness visit or anything like that, but this just with us closing the care gaps, um, meeting all the requirements for their risk analysis, and then submitting that information to them. That's an incredible increase and, and so needed because, of course, as an FQHC, you have to be very resourceful. Definitely. So being able to capture the, the uh, revenue that you can really helps you to serve more people in the community. So Definitely. that's great that you're able to bump it up so much. Talk to me, though, what's the impact been on the patient now that you're closing these care gaps? Have, they, have you seen an improvement on that side as well? So there, there are incentives for the patient. So you know, you're, you're, you're closing out that, that circle of care you're, uh, you know, you have your colorectal cancer screenings, mm -hmm. breast cancer screenings. Um, the way we have capitalized is working with the health plans. Uh, the health plans have gift cards for the patients getting, getting their mammos and things like that. But you're, you're interacting with the patients, getting them in for their visits. So then you're, you're minimizing their potential ER visits and things and you're capturing, like if they do have a cancer diagnosis, you're capturing that early. So uh, getting them in and getting them on the regular visits. And what I've realized is patients, since we started this, Patients are expecting our call annually now. So instead of, you know, who is this or who are you calling? Um, they know that we're gonna call every year and or send, like we use ECW for that. We send out text messages through ECW. So they, they know to expect that, they know the, what the message is. So then they're regularly coming in and being seen. It sounds like you know the patients really are now seeing you as it's truly their care partner, right? Because they're they're trusting of the messages you're sending. They're expecting that call because they know that they're going to get a a good service, but b that you really are truly interested in their health. One hundred percent, because it's previously um, there was a lot of hesitation with uh, giving us their phone number or their email address because they were expecting to be spammed. And in today's world, you do get a lot of spam messages, spam text messages. But we show them what the text message will look like, what to expect and uh, we, it has our information in it, and if there's ever a question, they can call us and verify that we've sent them a message. So ECW is very good about keeping the logs. You can see 
uh, what messages were sent out. You can see the context of that message also. So you can prove to the patient, yeah, that was us. Don't please don't block us. <laughs> you know, so that way we can conti continue to communicate with you. Yeah, and we were talking about that as well. It, text is not the only way you communicate with your patients. You're also making uh, really good usage of the portal. Yes, so um, we have very high usage of our portal. It's around 80%. Um, people log in daily. I'm a, I'm a portal user, um, being a patient of my facility. Uh, so, you know, checking my records, checking my bl blood pressure reading at my visit. Um, you can get your visit summaries there. Uh, we use our health information management team, our HIMSS team, to uh, push patients there. Instead of printing out a document for them, we actually train them how to access the portal and how to retrieve their information. So we put the power in the patient's hand to use the system for what it was intended to be used for. So you can pull your data, you can present that to your, your, your specialist that you're going to go see. You can really pull that information without even having to contact us. You always have that information at your fingertips. So it sounds like that's taking a, br a burden off your call center as well as your clinicians because they Definitely. don't have to produce the record anymore. Definitely. The patients just can log in. Definitely. And once you, once you educate the patient, um, they use it regularly. You can see the logins increase. Uh, we have the numbers to show it. So, you, you know, ECW has a great analytics piece where you can see the portal usage over the years. And then we can see the increase and see if what we're doing is actually beneficial. And you can see the, the actual access increase and everything over the years. It's, it's been great. I want to dive into that just for a second. How did you get to 80? Like, what, what were some of the tactics that you used to get people to actually use the portal? So when we have new patients come in, it was more of a educating them on the usage, uh, getting, their, getting their email addresses and getting it put in the system. Um, I did realize that a lot of patients were hesitant with giving their email address out but they would still fill it out on the new patient paperwork. But so I, I kind of educated our front desk staff just to let the patient know, I see your email address. We're gonna add you to the portal so the providers can communicate with you. You would not receive any spam messages or anything like that, but you will be able to communicate with your provider. And the providers use that as their communicate, preferred communication method. That way the patients get a response, you know, within 24 to 48 hours when they, when they do have a question. Now you've been working with uh, eClinicalWorks for a number of years now. Is there anything that uh, they've announced or that you're talking to them with that's really got you excited in terms of new technologies or new features? The use of AI. Uh, my CEO uh, has tasked me with finding AI functionality in our daily operation. And the fact that eClinicalWorks has pushed to an AI version has been is truly amazing. Just seeing the fact that you can use AI to look up items to, uh, I'm excited about the fax portion because uh, I, I do uh, manage the HIMSS team, so they spend a lot of time in the fax queue. This will totally speed up the process. Uh, this will make the process thoughtless also, basically, because you can go in and choose. It automatically finds the patient for you that truly limits your contact with that document and gets it where it needs to be in a timely manner. Um, we don't have to worry about the, the efficiency of that because the system's doing the work for you. Uh, that is one part that I'm truly excited about. Yeah, that definitely got a lot of applause in the keynote yesterday when you know, they were able to show that inbox and how the AI was going to be automatically match it to the patient, which is what you're talking about. And it sounds like your team will, will really uh, improve in terms of the amount of time they have to spend per document. Definitely. It's, it's one of those things where uh, when I get back next week, I am going to, tr hopefully the videos are loaded, I'm going to show them the video on it, and I know that it's going to be get rave reviews at the organization. Trey, you uh, shared a lot of great information with us today. Where can people go to find out more information about your organization? You can go to sunlifehealth.org or slfhc.org. Um, we have a full website. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, just look up Sun Life Health in Arizona, and we're, we're there. Awesome. Trey, thanks for being on the program today. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for having me. This has been Colin Hung with Healthcare IT Today. And if you enjoyed this interview as much as I did, please like and subscribe. Also, head on over to healthcareittoday.com where you can find more great content like this. Thanks for being here, and I'll catch you on the next video.